I mean, we're seeing pictures of students mm. camping out beside the road, beside universities in Dublin and in Galway. Like, it actually makes me think of Philly McMahon, the Dublin footballer we had on yesterday. His brother died homeless. Mm -hmm. He said there's 10,000 people there who are that. homeless or in emergency accommodation at the minute. 3,700 of them are children. Mm. It's frightening. And when we think of the, the windfall taxes that are coming into this country, three, like I think my own kids, the pressures we have and they have a roof over their head. You know, is this, like, with, the, with your government, there's 3,700 yeah. children without a home and there's more people going to fall into this because they can't afford rent. Well, we, we don't know that's going to be the case. You know, I, I hope we'll see homelessness falling again uh, over the course of the year. It was falling for quite some time, uh, started going up again. You know, I think everyone understands that homelessness is a lot more complex than uh, just building houses or, or, or money. Uh, there's lots but of other factors. When it comes to children play. and to think that they don't have a fixed roof over their head, where does that in a country like yeah. this? Well, the, the solution is, is more supply. And in the past 12 months, 25,000 new homes have been built in Ireland. That's more than any year uh, in 10 years. Um, but we're catching up on a period when very few homes were built. Mm. Uh, one thing I didn't know until yesterday, and I was really heartened to hear it, uh, in, in the past year, 15,000 people bought their first home for the first time. That's the highest in 15 years. Now, that's not enough. You know, it should yeah. be 20, it should be 25, it should be yep. 30. But some of those things, you know, are starting to go in the I right direction. It's not not all bad. And God. you're right, and you are, we are building more homes for the first mm -hmm. time in a very yeah. long time. But we did see just a couple of weeks ago, Bank of Ireland are tightening their rules mm -hmm. in how they are going to lend, how they're going to give out mortgages. And, you know, that's a greater sign of what's happening economically, globally, I do think. And when it comes to it, for single people, it's 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 almost impossible for some single people to get a mortgage with the with the prices, and we hear about the squeeze middle, but when it comes to single people in this country, it does feel like they are the forgotten generation because they are a hugely growing population, and they can easily just pick up and emigrate. Just go, do you know what? There is nothing here for me. Do we forget about single people too much? Well, it's definitely harder for single people single people yeah. to get by. You know, I, I lived alone for fourteen years, um, thankfully with a good income, but you know, you have to bear all the costs of running yeah. a house on your own without being able to share. And every budget um, day, it's you know, families, yeah. it's two well, kids well, and all this. But we, we we are doing things to help now. Now, bear in mind. You know that was always true and will always be true. It's always going to be harder for a single person to, to, to run a house than when you have two or three incomes coming in, and it's true in other countries as well. But there are ways we can help. Um, one of the things we've brought in, uh, one of the things we extended in the budget, budget is the help to buy scheme. Uh, you can get thirty thousand euros worth of back taxes to put towards your deposit, uh, and also we've a, a new program that's only come in the last few months. It's very popular. It's called First Home. So say you get, say you can get a mortgage for two fifty, but the house costs three twenty. Yeah. Uh, the government will help bridge the difference and the income limits are different for a single person to a couple. We've actually designed that in a way where it favours single people, uh, reflecting the fact that uh, it's harder to get by when you've only one income coming into you've the house. Met, you've extended the help to buy. You haven't exactly helped it. And for people who've already mm -hmm. built a house, they're obviously, they, they've got that built at the minute. But the fact that you put this brick levy on as well is going to add extra price onto it because that's a new one that kind of snuck mm -hmm. in under the radar that, you know, we want to build more houses, but everybody's going to have to pay more money to build the bricks. So it's a 10 cent levy on concrete blocks to help with the micro re and pyro yeah, redress scheme. Yeah, um, it, we do anticipate it, it will have a marginal impact on the cost of construction. Um, that is the downside. Which to is it. already huge. Um, but, it, you know, we've got thousands of families in Donegal and other parts of Ireland affected by MICA. Um, we're going to have tens but of thousands of people. That's not for everyone to pay for, is it? Well, unfortunately, that's that's the, the world we live in. Uh, things have to be paid for, so mm. uh, you have to socialise the cost of these things. Um, you know, if you didn't pay for it out of a levy on the construction industry, which is how it's being paid, you'd have to pay for it uh, through increasing taxes on people, for example. So we've decided the fairest is not ideal, but the fairest way of paying for the repairs of the mica homes and also a lot of apartments around the country that are going to need uh, help from government to be, re be repaired that we uh, decided the least worst way of doing that is a levy on the construction industry. The, like the, cr the crisis that in Ireland that is housing, you know, you've been in government for 11 years. Do you put all the blame, you know, do, can, can the government take a lot of the, this blame or do you put the blame on external factors? There's lots of different reasons why we have a housing crisis. Um, you know, just look north of the border where we're not in government. House prices are up 20%, homelessness is 20,000. So, you know, but we, it's see, a we see these things. here at the moment. Yeah. The, the, uh, this has been going on a, a long time. I think it's the government's responsibility to fix the housing crisis. And that's what we're working on. And happy to go into some of the, some of the things we're doing to make that happen. 
uh, the, the causes uh, date back to a long time ago. They date back to the, uh, the crash uh, when the banks collapsed and the construction industry collapsed. And we've never really recovered since then. We were building 80,000 houses a year at one point. Um, that industry collapsed. The banks which financed them also collapsed. And only now are we back up to 25,000. And there's lots of other factors at play. We've, we've a massively growing population. Um, yeah. From 5.2 million people to now. To be celebrating 25,000 as well, yeah. 